Welcome to Professor Sir's Vlogs. Today I am going to give you a calculation technique of asset value which needs higher level thinking. At the first sight, you may feel that the calculation is very simple, but to solve these types of problems, logical thinking is required. Let's see the problem. A missionary of the book value of 40,000 was disposed of for 17,200 in part exchange for a new machine costing 31,600. The net invoice of 14,400 was passed through the invoice book. Explain the accounting treatment. This is the problem. Let's analyze the problem. I'm going to give you five analysis points. Point number one. An old missionary has been sold here. Book value of the missionary sold was 40,000. Its sales price is 17,200. Therefore, loss on sale of missionary is 40,000 minus 17,200. Answer is 22,800. This loss on sale of missionary 22,800 should be debited in the profit and loss account. Here the journal entry is profit and loss account till 22,800 to old missionary account 22,800. Then point number three. A missionary costing 31,600 has been purchased. Therefore, a new missionary account should be opened in the books of accounts. New missionary account should be debited for 31,600. Then, point number 3. What should be credited when passing journal entry for the new missionary account? That needs logical thinking. Cost of the new missionary is 31,600. Old missionary has been exchanged for 17,200. Therefore, exchange value 17,200 should be credited in the old missionary account. Here the journal entry for 17,200 should be New missionary account is 17,200 to old missionary account 17,200. Then point number four. Cost of the new missionary is 31,600. Out of this, 17,200 has been adjusted with the exchange value of old missionary. Therefore, Balance payable is 31,600 minus 17,200. Answer is 14,400. It is stated in the problem that this balance 14,400 was passed through the invoice book. It means that 14,400 has been recorded in the purchase book or purchase journal. This is actually an error. It should be recorded in the missionary account, but it wrongly ended in the purchase journal. It should be debited in the missionary account, but by mistake, it stands debited in the purchase account. The wrong entry recorded here is purchases account debtor 14,400 to creditors account. 14,400. In order to cancel this wrong entry, 
we should nullify the amount debited in the purchaser's account. Therefore, the rectification entry should be new missionary account letter 14,400 to purchaser's account 14,400. Then point number five. When we combine journal entries of the new missionary arrived at point number three and point number four, we will get a combined journal entry that is new missionary account letter 31,600 to old missionary account 17,200 to purchases account 14,400. I conclude this problem is very important. I request you to revise this problem by taking paper and pen once more. Learn from Professor's vlogs. Be confident. Be happy with your life. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you again.